Hey guys, haven't done a video in a while. Uh, my leg's still screwed up from that de facto cop ripping my meniscus. So I did get a letter from them uh, denying my claim. So that's why I haven't got the MRI yet uh, because the U.S. Forest Department failed to turn the paperwork on a timely manner. Um, I'll show you that letter when I get a chance. So uh, just an update on what's going on. Um, so... I don't have my license. I still have to look back at the footage. I know he stole it from me, but I don't know if he ever returned it or in the process it was lost or he stole it. Um, but then, you know, the word stolen is two different things too because to steal it is to take one without, uh, take it without one's permission. So the license is the contract. So with that license, um, you, you sign under perjury of law. No one forced you to do it. Uh, I haven't had a license in two and a half months now. And you know what I figured out? I don't really knew it. I don't yeah, need it. I'm sorry. I uh, found out I, I'm slurring my words a lot. Um, I've been poisoned by the city of Los Angeles uh, with lead and possibly benzene. Uh, benzene isn't one of those things they look too much into because it's a known carcinogen. You know, kind of like what they're putting in the atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, um, still working on that. I just have to, it takes an incredible amount of concentration. And when I'm free talking like this, uh, I'm slurring my words. I'm dyslexic, which, you know, could be because of the vaccines they gave me when I was younger. Um, also, uh, you know, Ritalin and all that other stuff. They like to experiment on you. Um, yeah. So, um yeah to get back to that so the license is a key if you get pulled over and you don't hand them a license california is one of the few states that you're not required to present the driver's license if asked for um other states make it mandatory and an actual felony uh this dumbass cop decided to try to make it a felony and put it on the ticket uh it's now been uh over two months uh well, let's see march June, so not quite two, yeah, it's been over two months. Um, I contacted the court, the court mailed me back the ticket, even though I sent it to them registered mail, telling me that I need to keep it, yeah, because without the contract, there's no notice, without any notice, there's no controversy, without any controversy, there's no court, duh! Um, people are so idiots, they don't read things. Uh, one of the things the ticket was signed, it was signed non assumpsit which you can look it up, means I refuse to contract with you. So even if I had the ticket, which I sent to the court, and they tried to mail it back, uh, once I get a dot case, I'll send it registered mail to them uh, and force it into the record, along with my um, executive directives. So that should be interested. I'm also going to go after the guy for uh, in small claims court. Um, they're going to try to get a, a motion to dismiss because I'm angry I got a ticket. Uh, he broke my leg. So, you know, do what you want. Forest Department's up in arms because I posted a bunch of videos of me wearing the Forest Department shirt. Uh, which, by the way, I have more videos on that. So ordering me to give you the shirt back, uh, which is against the law anyhow because it makes you look bad. <laughs> you have no idea. Welcome to the U.S. National Forest where we punish and enslave. That's my next one coming out. So, um, yeah, watch out for that video. I'm, I'm still doing the editing. I lost my computer. Um, something happened with the hard drive. Um, got a new computer, loaded it all up, and thanks to Windows and all the other stuff, I can't get my software back that I use for editing. So I was using Windows and then um, Open Shots, and then there's another one because I don't like Windows. I never did. Um, so I'm using uh, Linux. And uh, so there's only certain programs I can use, but uh, I don't have a problem with viruses anymore. I don't have a problem with updates. I don't have a problem with annoying freaking pop-ups. Um, it's a lot better system than uh, Windows. 
uh, and definitely better than Mac. I do not like the not having the back button. Um, I've used a couple Macs, and then the window and window. It's it's a tool. It's not supposed to be a cell phone. I'm not supposed to be able to, you know, swipe left or swipe life uh, right to get what I need. And then you know, on the other ones, it's like I'm driving now. I, I don't want to deal with it. Um, which every single one of these laptops, except for my rugged one, my uh, Panasonic, do not handle driving very well at all. Um, so that's why I use a Panasonic to do my programming of the radios. Um, you know, I'm still using DOS. Radios work. They're in compliance. You know. Um, so just want to let you guys know. Let me leave on another note. So they're floating in prison barges in New York right now where you'll be ordered to drink your own piss and eat crickets. So they're shutting down and burning all the production factories while spending billions, uh, millions on uh, cricket and other type of bugs because pound for bound are more nutritious than beef, but taste absolutely disgusting. That's what I've been told. I haven't intentionally ate a cricket in a long time. Um, I don't really like the crunch to begin with. But, you know, that's just me. So, yeah, we're getting a little long-winded here. Uh, I'll put some off-road pictures in the background. So that's the update. Um, I'm going to have to sue the officer in small claims court uh, for injuring a man of flesh and blood. Yes, not a corporation. You guys need to wake up. If it's all in capitals, it's not you. Go back to third grade. Yes, it was third grade. A noun is a person, place, or thing. How do you identify a person, place, or thing? By how it's spelt. A man of flesh and blood is a capital followed by lowercase. All these agencies put it all in capitals. You file your taxes, it's a corporation. So start taking the deductions off that a corporation requires. They're not paying for crap. And then the newest thing is this go green deal. Uh, Guys, wake up. If they're talking about going green, it's probably a lie. And it is. If you do not burn hydrocarbons, we don't make fertilizer for the plants. Oh, all this carbon buildup or all this CO2. Yeah, it's called a cycle of like 17 years. It goes up and it goes down. Uh, As for the poor polar bears that float unless you freaking tranquilize them. Uh, polar supply bullshit. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, we've had 30% more ice this year than ever recorded. Wake up, people. Global change? Yeah, just because you didn't document it. Remember the old thing, does a tree make a sound if it falls in the woods and no one can hear it? Yeah, it does. Just because you didn't record it doesn't mean it didn't happen. You guys need to get off this freaking... S-H-I-T train and wake up. All right, Democrats. Democrats are responsible for slavery. They're responsible for the Civil War. Look it up. These great presidents. Yeah. Just like uh, the one who discovered America. Yeah, that was another lie. Columbus, a great man. Yeah, slaughtered millions of people over freaking gold and didn't even know what gold was. You guys got to wake up. I'm sorry. I'd like to give you good news. Oh, okay. So good news. There's a cure for cancer outlawed in the United States uh, because of how it kills cancer. Okay. Uh, They'll probably ban this YouTube video, but cure for cancer is uh, B17. You cannot buy it. You cannot order it, but you can still get it in its natural form, which is apricot and pitch peats, pit seeds. So you uh, eat a peach, uh, by the way, non-GMO, because they, they're smart. They don't want you to have this anti-cancer uh, sugar. So uh, you get that uh, pit, you lay it in the windowsill for about a day. You don't have to. I just find that it cracks the outer shell. It may not crack the inside seed if it's a little bit dry. 
you can do it when it's wet, but when it's wet, it's a little bit mushy. It's kind of a bittersweet taste. Um, you can look it up, B17. There's also uh, the scientific name for it. So how it kills cancer cells is cancer cells lack the enzyme to digest the sugar, which B17 is, correctly, turns into cyanide and kills the cancer cell. A healthy cell digests it as a sugar and passes it through. So yes, you can take this as a preventative uh, medicine. I met a guy who was on a bus when I worked at LAX and he was telling me how he had cancer when he was little, little uh, survived chemo, which isn't very often. Then they gave him the shot of B17. And he's glad to say, yeah, it's been 12 years. I haven't had a reoccurrence uh, because you got the B17. They should have started with that instead of the chemo. Oh, there's no money in a cure. That's right. And where's the proof? Oh, the cure for what was it, hepatitis C? People, if you're hearing it on the news, most of it's a lie. If the president, uh, Sippy Cup Joe, who's supposed to be the commander in chief of everybody, is telling you this is what you need to do, it's probably a lie. He got it off a narrative of something else, has no worth behind it. Here's the truth he's giving away all our emergency reserves of oil to Asia and Europe. He's given our, our ammunition for our troops. If we were going to war today, we would not be able to keep our own soldiers stocked for more than a week. Wake up, people. Oh, um, supposedly everybody's asking me when the end is. The latest I ever heard was December. Um, they like doing stuff in December. So December 25th is supposed to mark the end of our freedom. So, um, remember Joe's promise? You will own nothing and you will love it. Or you will like it. Or you'll be dead. He left that off, but that's what's next. So, stay strong, guys. Uh, try to do what you enjoy. Uh, God knows this cop stopped me from doing what I enjoy. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Signing out. Talk to you soon.